Beautiful boat that I want to go ahead and jump on. Greg. Hey, good morning. Thanks for coming. Let me jump on here. Please do. Don't fall in. Oh, this is wow. All I can see is. So you're standing on a Green Line 40. Green Line is the world's only full line of hybrid diesel electric motor yachts. We are Yacht Sales International, and we're the exclusive dealer distributor for Green Line in North America. You're on the 40 right now. And the reason that this is a hybrid boat is, in many ways, it's a normal boat. This boat has diesel engines, a straight shaft that goes through an electric motor. When the diesel engine's running, it turns the inside of the electric motor and turns it into a very powerful generator. That power goes into lithium polymer battery banks. So instead of big battery banks of AGMs, we have lithium polymer, like a Tesla or BMW i-Series, which is where we source them. Interesting. When you stop the diesel engine, you can run the boat completely on an electric drive. So anytime we're in a harbor, a no-wake zone, just gonna go out and do a harbor cruise for a few hours and go to dinner, I don't touch the diesel at all. If I was going from here to Miami on the intercoastal waterway, it's about 1,200 miles, and about half of it is a no-wake zone waiting for a bridge. So I don't ever run my diesels just hours and hours at slow speeds. I use the diesel when I want to get up on plane and run. Now also, you can't see it from here, the entire roof of the boat is integrated solar panels. With the solar panels, I can also charge the batteries. I have no generator on this boat. I run my air conditioning, my stove, everything strictly off of the batteries. So no sound, no vibration, no anything. The only thing you have to get used to is when you're coming up to a dock or another boat, you get the feeling that your engines have died and you're going to run into something because <laughs> there's no noise and there's no vibration. But then it's you really pull the throttle, it's crazy. Correct. And then I can monitor from here. I can see that I've got power coming in from my solar panel roof. I've got power coming from my fully charged lithium polymer, and it's all going to the inverter and running everything on the boat. So again, instead of a generator, I just have a big inverter to run everything because I have lots and lots of power. When I go someplace and anchor up, leave the boat for the day, it recharges the electricity that I use to drive the boat to get there. Other than that, this is a semi-displacement hull on diesel power. Boat cruises 16 knots really comfortably. I'm getting 1.2 to 1.6 nautical miles to the gallon, depending on conditions. So it's, it's a very efficient cruising boat. But again, all of the times I'm doing displacement speeds, all the time it would be bad for the diesel, I don't have to bump it in and yeah. out of gear, I'm running it on electric. You've all run a boat where you're trying to go slow into a harbor or marina, and you're bumping it in and out of gear, and in and out of gear. Yes. The electric drive on this boat is like the dimmer switch on a light bulb. I can incrementally do very small RPMs, and I can really control the boat with a lot of finesse. So, so what, okay, so, I yeah. mean, obviously, you guys are, are ahead of the game when it comes to like the hybrid diesel Very electric so. technology. Uh, that's that's a given. Where are you guys, um, where do you have that electric motor and where is it out of and where's the battery bank at? I, I'm just curious because everything looks so nice in here. Literally, it doesn't the look like. Banks under the seat. The same, if you take the lithium polymer batteries that we have now, mm -hmm. the same amount of power storage and delivery from an AGM bank okay. would fill the back of a pickup truck and weigh 2,200 pounds. Wow. I've got it the size of a carry-on suitcase. That's crazy. Yeah, I, it, it's really impressive. And as a side note, since I don't have a whole separate generator back here okay. and batteries, everything back there, the whole Azurex storage, there's two misnomers that people get when they come on this boat. First of all, they look at the solar panels and they think, oh, unlimited range. <laughs> no. Like a test, that's not unlimited. But you can still go 20 nautical miles or so at a time. And again, you turn it on and off depending on your speed and your conditions. The other thing that people think that's important is, oh, I'm going to save a ton of fuel. The reality is it's not the fuel savings, although that's significant. The reality is that you're never running your diesel hours an hour at low speeds, which is not good for it. You're only running your diesel at its maximum operating level. What, Greg, what, what kind of diesel engines are pushing this, though? We developed this in tandem with Volvo. This okay. is a Volvo D220 twins mm -hmm. and twin electric motors and twin battery banks on the 40. On the 33 and the 39 that you see, it's a single 220, single electric hybrid drive. I see that there's some storage down here where we're where we're where we're walking. Engine compartment here. Okay. Engine stops about here. 
from this bulkhead all the way back to the stern of the boat is completely empty for storage. This, this, this is nice. The, the galley back. This closes in. Flips up and this closes oh, the boat off. Great. Close your sliding door. Or you just let it go up. And you have the sliding door there. Show them yep. the, how that sliding door would close. So now the yeah. person who's fixing uh, the snacks or the sandwiches or whatever <laughs> is not consigned Boom. to be a prisoner down in the galley. That is crazy. They're, they're still part of the activity. That is awesome. I, I like the fact that it feels so open and you can do everything here. This is really, really nice. Really nice open boat, lots of space in it. Uh, especially for entertaining. And on this size boat, we're able to still have 1.8 kilowatts of solar panel charging and still be able to have a big sunroof to let air and, and light. So if uh, once the day's over and people want to wind down, they may want to do like a day, you know, like a day cruise or yep. just hang out. How's the cabin area? Is this the whole? This one's a twin stateroom boat. This twin. layout oh, is wow. twin stateroom with a single head. We with have several different layout options. So the 40 foot, we have twin. Wow. That is correct. That's a 40 foot boat that has a twin. Yeah. Let's, and that's... a good bit of space dedicated to the forward stateroom. Can we go, can we walk that area Absolutely. real quick? Absolutely. I'm, I'm gonna let you go down. Uh, okay. I'll go behind you. I don't want to get in your way in the doorways here. Guys, this is, I still can't believe this is a 40 foot boat. Master forward with the raised deck, we're able to put all these windows in to get all this light into the boat. And yeah. remember that we're a boat geared for people who go anchor out for long weekends, who are going to do the Great Loop, who are going to cruise the ICW from Maine down to the Keys seasonally. So there's a big emphasis on storage on the boat. Absolutely. Let me tell you, um, what's the beam on this boat? This thing looks really, really beamy. The beam on this one is, is just a tiny bit under 14 feet. 14 okay yep. it's a proprietary semi-displacement hull so again this boat accrues 16 to 18 knots very comfortably very fuel efficient and top out at 20 or so if you need talking to. about fuel what's the fuel capacity on this uh, 40 footer uh, this one carries 185 gallons okay of diesel of diesel that's correct guys look at the head man this a whole separate shower and this is the master, right? That is correct. That is the master. And this layout is the single head. So we've got another door to the head here. Okay, so that they can go in there. For and access, access that you don't have to go through the master. That's right. And then we've got a separate stateroom in here. It is either twins or double because the inboard bed will slide and make a double if you want. I love, I love the fact that you guys have so much access to light coming in here. And then when you don't want it, you just go ahead and... Yep, you just go ahead and shut it off. Shut it off. That's crazy. Um, Up forward, if you can duck and walk through with me. Got a side door. When you're running the boat single or shorthanded, it's easy to just put lines here and walk out the side door and cast off lines. Here. Which is obviously important because a lot of times it's just going to be, you know, maybe a couple in a, in a situation like this. And exactly. Designed to be a couple's boat with occasional guests. Wow, look at this. It's liking nice this. Lounge up here with a bimini. That is really nice. The anchor is inboard in the well, so I don't have to deal with all the lines and all the equipment of the whole bow pulpit. And then actually, if you step up onto this, you can see the whole solar panels integrated. Oh, into the roof. wow, look at that. And, and it looks like that those solar panels close up. Is there a button that you can go ahead and Actually, shut off? That's the whole sunroof, and it electrically closes or opens. Wow. And then the solar panels are the part behind it. That is crazy. Look at this, the guys. The solar panels are integrated into the boat and raised on various support struts so that the, the solar panels do generate some heat, and that's dissipated and it doesn't go into the boat. That is, that is awesome, let me tell you. Um, With six bolts, I pop the mast off and I put it on a truck and I ship it anywhere I want to ship it. That's However, crazy. even with the mast up, I'm low enough to get under all the bridges of the Great Loop. So I can do the whole thing. So Greg, if someone is in the market for for a boat similar to this, you know, obviously the, the, this is like a boat that somebody's like looking for a yacht. Yeah. What, what are we talking about price point? Like, is there is there starting ranges? How far can it go? What are we looking at? This one really well configured and we order all of our boats 
with electronics, with with uh, the televisions, the stereos, all the different options that you would like because just from a business standpoint, it's easier. If we keep having to say, oh, I'm sorry, that's extra. I'm sorry, that's yeah. extra. I'm sorry, that's extra. It, it just doesn't work. So we order the boats nicely equipped for our inventory. And then if you want to order something custom, we can order whatever you want. We have people who have reconfigured the seating in the boat. We have people who have used the cabinetry to put a washer dryer in or a wine chiller or an ice maker. We're a semi-custom builder. We build about 75 boats a year or so. So we can accommodate those people. Greg, can, if somebody wanted to put a sea keeper or some type of gyro system in here, can it be put? Absolutely. We've already engineered all the structure, all the stringers so that it can accept a sea keeper. It's an option. It's, it's ready for the stress of that. That's awesome. If you're going to have a sea keeper on this boat, there you're going to run continuously 24 7. Okay. We put a small secondary generator in the boat because the sea keeper does use electricity and that would start making it to where you didn't have the range on electric that you would like to have. That is awesome. So if they wanted to get more information on this particular bo uh, boat, where would they go exactly? So our website is just yachtsalesinternational.com. That links to all the Greenline sites, all the different specs and specifications of the boats. Um, to give you an idea, this boat fully equipped as you see it now, mm -hmm. retails list price is about 680. The 39, and I know it sounds strange to have both a 39 and a 40 in our lineup. <laughs> the 39, the 40 is about two feet wider than the 39. Okay. And is a twin engine. The 39 is a single engine boat, fully equipped. It's about 575 retail. And then the nice couples boat is the 33, right over there. Okay. Another single engine boat, and it's about 430, all nicely equipped out. So and you'll By the way, that is hull number 426 of the 33. So I think it's safe to say that that boat's a it's, success. It's a proven, it's a proven <laughs> exactly. boat. That is crazy, guys. Well, listen, guys, I'm glad that they allowed me to show, showcase this. I oh, mean, my channel, my channel, I mean, uh, let me tell you guys, I've seen all types of boats, and I can't believe sometimes where this YouTube channel takes all this craziness because... I mean, it's a beautiful boat, and I'm, I'm glad that you guys are doing the diesel electric option because... The only you, funny part of the learning curve on this boat is the first few times you drive it, when you're coming back towards the slip, you're convinced that the engines are dead and you're going to crash. And that's a good problem. No noise but that's no a good problem to have. I mean, that's where we want to go in the future. We, we want to go ahead and minimize anything exactly. like that when it comes to like carbon and all that good stuff. So This is truly a green line of boats. The purpose of the company is environmentally friendly boating. And the purpose of Yacht Sales International is we are the world's largest dealer distributor of green hybrid power boats. Awesome. Hey, guys, check them out. Thank you so much, Greg. Hey, give them your, your email. Give them yeah. your email. Yeah, yachtsalesinternational.com. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you.